Howdy, 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 and welcome back to the Garden Nerd. It's been a while since I've uh, made a video. Life got in the way. I was graduating with my uh, bachelor's degree in computer science, so cool beans there. That's done, so now I got a little bit more free time. Um, those of you that, you know, follow on my Facebook know that there's some construction going on uh, in the garage area. Right over there. Yep, there we go. So that needs to get done before I can go and take care of the garden spots over there. But uh, what I'm going to bring you today is I'm going to talk about the Hugel buckets. Uh, so what my plan is today, uh, forgive the wind, hopefully that isn't too bad. I'm trying this new recorder. Anyway, I'm going to go through. I'm going to empty out one of these Hugel buckets and examine the wood on the inside. One, because I thought, hey, that'd be an interesting, you know, episode to do. And two, I'm just curious myself. So I'll take you along for that. Let's get dealing with it. Alright, so, uh, we're just going to take a quick like look here. Uh, this bucket right here had the mint in it last year. Uh, it's a good like hand down. I filled it up pretty good before. There's some weeds growing, but that's to be expected. Uh, then, I forget what was over here in these ones. Um, but they're, you know, fairly good. Uh, I'm still going to top them off with some of the soil that I have. Here, it's pretty fluff up, up um, and pretty full. This one was probably like the first one I did, so I had a little bit more. Uh, and then there's my old bucket there as well. So these are the buckets as they stand. Now I'm gonna get to emptying, uh, take a look there. All right. All right, so most of the soil here is now empty out of this. Um, I have about a eh, quarter or so left. Uh, a lot of it, I'm already getting to the sticks. So I'm gonna dump it out and uh, we'll take a look at all this lovely stuff. All right. All right, yeah. A lot of this wood in here is pretty broken down. I mean, some of this was older wood. As you can see, it's just literally breaking apart in my hands on that one. This one here, this one's a bit more solid. Yep, that one still is there. Uh, it's very wet. Um, I do have gloves on. Um, kind of holy, kind of been worked out a little bit. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like so far. Uh, the bigger stuff is still there. They're very, very heavy and wet. Look, little worm. Little worm dude. Crawling around. Um, yeah. A lot of the other littler stuff is just like very, still a little dry. It's still breaking apart, but yeah, that one's still like wiggling and whatnot. Very brittle. So yeah, I'd say with a good mixture of, uh, different bits here. It's breaking down nicely. Uh, there's still some good soil in there. A random cloth, probably from a bit of wood. Um, yep, there's another nice piece. Still pretty solid. Um, but yeah, I'd say it's doing pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like what it looks like. I'll sift through this, kind of separate some of the wood um, from here and refill the bucket. Um, so yeah, um, that's kind of what it's going through. So it's still the decent sized sticks here. Yeah, some of these are getting nice and broken down. So basically, after about one year, because it's been about one year since I did this, um, still going pretty good. Uh, there's still the plenty of the soiled manure and stuff, um, in here. So I'm gonna. Go ahead and uh, put the sticks back in, 
maybe throw in some compost down at the bottom, some unfinished stuff, uh, and then throw the soil back in and, oh, hey there, bee. Um, and then, yeah, go ahead and uh, refill this. All right, I'm going to get to that. Alrighty, folks, so I put the sticks back in. I added some new stuff in there as well, just because I had some, like, dry plant material, some pine cones, a couple more sticks, just to kind of fill up the bottom again because uh, a lot of the little sticks kind of broke down already, which is kind of the point. Uh, but, you know, I am just doing this now because I'm doing it. Now I'm also going to be adding um, uh, some mixture of broken down compost with some fresh stuff just down at the bottom. Just because, why not? Help bulk it up even more. Uh, so yeah, now I'm just going to end up filling up the rest of this bucket back here. Um, and yeah, and we'll top it right off and have a nice full new hoogle in here uh, with some nice yummy stuff down at the bottom for the worms that have now uh, been disturbed. So again, don't have to do this. In fact, I suggest you don't. You just leave it and forget it. But you know, I figured some people might be curious along with me. All right, let's fill this bucket back up. Hulu culture looks like uh, when you empty it out. I uh, just added more stuff in so this would be more full. And you know, just continuously adding more stuff isn't gonna like hurt it. Um, I did top it off with some bag soil, uh, mixed it in with the manure and whatnot that was here from last year. It is um, like garden soil bag, uh, not really made for containers. Um, so I'll see how that goes. I don't think it'll be a problem because uh, there's a lot of vermiculite in this bucket, it has a lot of drainage. Um, I did an excessive amount of drainage, um, more so than the ones that were previously made. Um, and, you know, I didn't see any issues with uh, any lack of water, although I do still water these fairly regularly, uh, especially when I have the greens and whatnot there. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, you know, keep an eye out for some future videos. I'll be doing garden tour shortly. Um, I would prefer to get the rest of the garden planted out. But we'll see what happens with these, uh, you know, roofers to see if they'll, you know, come and finish the job. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Bye. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you something else really quick here. Uh, down at the bottom, during the at the drainage holes, there's actually mushrooms growing at the bottom. So all that, like, fungi and stuff is there going through the wood. So I take that also as a good sign. Also, there's, like, random weeds popping out of the bottom because the uh, fine soil is sifting through all that, leaving a little bit of dirt, and the plants are just like, yeah, I'll grow there. Anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys. See you later, bye.